All right, Eric Dye here with Kenny Zhang from Liquid Church in New Jersey. And Friday, you guys did something that was really, really awesome. Tell us about it. Well, we have a performance arts camp during the summer with, with a little over 200 kids. Um, we had, I think, about 240 kids in the program. We actually had 230 volunteers, which was amazing support from our community. And we thought we'd culminate the week with a really neat exercise. One of them is really teaching our children how to put their faith into action. And so um, our leadership team here has decided what can we do to make it memorable, um, like a teaching moment for them during the summer. And so we uh, assembled 12,000 food items into uh, hunger relief kits for a local food pantry. And by doing so, and doing it within three minutes, uh, we beat the Guinness Book of World Records on that uh, on that uh, activity. That is epic. And, you know, th- there's so many awesome things that were so right about this project. I mean, the fact that, it, first of all, the fact that it was a creative arts camp, I mean, what an amazing creative art activity this was. Yeah, the kids had a blast. They have, there was a performance art track, the media track, the, they had a stop animation class with 20 different iPads going. Um, so the kids really took ownership of the entire week and the programming, um, and this was just one part of it. That's amazing. And then, okay, so you're doing this cool, I, I saw some of the photos. I mean, w- when you're talking about putting together 12,000 items in only three minutes, I mean, the organization, I mean, it, it, it was a beautiful picture. Like creatively, oh. the way it was organized was amazing. It was definitely something um, to be a part of. Um, kudos to our team here. There's a woman named Wendy uh, who takes care of all of our outreaches and stuff like this. She's just amazing at the logistics, to putting it together, working with the Guinness organization in the UK, making sure that everything's documented. We had to have videos that show the scope of the event, another video, uh, making sure that no one enters or leaves the actual site time code stamps, et cetera. So there's all this technical stuff with the logistics, and then uh, the team just was awesome. It was a group effort, um, adults and children alike, and so um, we beat the world record, so we're, we're pretty happy about that. Well, yeah, see, okay, you, it, it was creative and artful kind of the, the way you did it, okay, and it was great to do it with the kids. You put the faith in action. I mean, it was a, a cool thing for a church to be doing. Okay, like that right on its own is pretty awesome. And then you added this third element, which was the the Guinness Book of World Records and setting that. Like how did how did that come about because I mean, it, it was such a great PR uh joint and hub that you're able to put that info out there. It wasn't just, "Oh, we're doing something cool as a church." I mean, that's good enough, but then you were able to add this uh, Guinness Book of World Record angle. Well, I, well, for us um, it just came out of the brainstorming uh, efforts. Right? So we wanted to show the kids that, hey, um, no matter what size you are, no matter what age you are, you can make an impact. And that's how it started. And so um, what happens, we stumble upon this world record that actually Walmart was the one who originated that um, original wall- world record. They did 555 packages um, in three minutes. And so what do we say? What if we show the kids that you kids can actually double what a corporate giant has done um, and really demonstrate to them tangibly that they could do something like that? And actually, that's what happened. And it was really funny at the end. Some of the kids are chanting on the way out, we beat Walmart, we beat Walmart. Um, yeah, it's, it's the, there's this friendly competitive spirit to it. But then also seeing there was a representative from my neighborhood. It's, it's called My Neighbor's Pantry is the name of the organization. It's um, a, a peer um, uh, outreach of Zarephath Christian Church in Somerset, New Jersey, that um, we basically are truckload uh, delivery of all the packages that we put together. And um, that partnership, I think, was great, that it's not just about us. Um, we are reaching out to other partners in the area, like another church that has a food pantry and working with them. Well, Kenny, thank you for your time. I'm so glad that you sent me the email on this, because when I read the story, I'm like, this is so amazing. It's it's reaching the community. It's fulfilling a need. It's getting uh, the, the kids active. It's the church in action and operating beautifully like the body of Christ needs to be. And then on top of all of that, it was fun. Definitely. So we have three core values here at Liquid Church. One is grace wins, 
truth is relevant. And the third one is church is fun. You nailed it. You nailed it. This is what winning looks like. Kenny, thank you. Thanks for having me.